Hello, everyone. Welcome back to No Man's Sky 3.22. KJPC Gaming here. I am trying. I didn't want to ride you. I am trying to finish a creature mission, Tame Creatures mission from the Nexus. And uh, I have run into some various problems. For one thing, they don't all respond to bait being thrown. I've had to feed a lot of individual creatures. I'm up to 31 of 39. And uh, it's, uh, it's got kind of expensive. Offer food. No, 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 don't want that. Offer food. <laughs> I, uh, I noticed it when I went to the planet that uh, I was supposed to go to that the creatures that are running around um, on the planet weren't coming to the food at all. <laughs> and so I went to another planet and then I went to another planet and here I am feeding individual creatures and... Uh, Boy, I'll tell you what, that was expensive. So let's open this up and get out some more pel pellets because I have my own little critters to feed. But the Nexus mission's done. Hi, guys. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think that you get crystal flesh from that. Bone nuggets, okay. That's different. What do these guys give? Milk? Okay. Bone nuggets, that's new. Where did it go? Bone nuggets, it looks like a pear. <laughs> we'll have to find out what we can do with bone nuggets. <laughs> There's a transmission tower here. Uh, I had a hard time landing on this planet as well. Let's get some more just in case it takes a lot. All right. So the tame creature mission, the number of creatures that you have to tame has gone uh, up to something like 30 to 40, and uh, which is expensive. And uh, also the creatures aren't incredibly responsive to food being thrown directly on the ground. Although the first time I did the mission um, after the update, it worked much better. So 3.22 has a little difficulty, a little bit of difficulty with that mission. Uh, I wanted to get some Nexus missions done today. Uh, I sent out the fleet and uh, they are moving right along. We now have two S-Class ships and an A-Class ship and a ton of B-Class ships. Um, so that was just a regular Nexus mission. So we will complete that. Uh, regular Nexus, Nexus missions do help with this, with the uh, items in the Quicksilver shop. And I'll just show you in the log, PC is at uh, 96%. Let's see here what else I can do. 804 activated cadmium. Yeah, we can do that. It is quicksilver and I do need some. I'm on, I only have 2,700 left. We'll get warped this time. <laughs> hey, let's get warped. My voice is really rough. Uh, w uh, the live stream was last night. Uh, any of you that came out, uh, thank you so much for coming. It was uh, Lava Lamb's 1,000 subs uh, super duper special live stream. 
and for that he wanted to start a new save. He's been wanting to start a new save uh, to have more room for uh, multi-tools and pets. If you haven't uh, seen the special and you want to, you are welcome to watch it. It's available on the channel. It wants us to go to this place because it wants activated cadmium. A hot planet. I'm just going to the signal to see if it actually leads to a deposit, a resource deposit. Target planet reached. Gotta really slow down for resource deposits to spawn in. Yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> It was probably miles away. <laughs> All right, lots of critters here, too. All right, we need our visor. Now oh, there's a deposit of activated cadmium. It's 510 units. And that one is 210 units. Make a little bit of money while we're here. Something under my feet. <laughs> Something went by under my feet. Right there. Uh. Oh, I thought that guy was going to come up close enough. All right. <laughs> These underground creatures uh, aren't responsive to the tame critter's mission. Uh, they might be under certain circumstances, but they weren't today. We'll just grab 810 of this and try not to fry out in the sun or catch on fire. <laughs> Oops. I hit my right mouse button, which focuses my uh, combat scope and brings me closer there. Oh, it's very hot. I use batteries and life support gel because it takes less space, and this is permadeath. And uh, space is a premium on permadeath. If I uh, carried the phosphorus, dioxide, um, uranium, and um, whatever else I need for my hazard protection, that would be several slots I'd be taking up. We're going to have a firestorm. Heat protection does not protect you from fire. Let's use magnetized ferrite, since we need silicate for building now. If you're having trouble with this mission, uh, then go underground and make your beam smaller. We should be fairly safe underground unless a fire starts. I'm also getting the extra silicate. I never keep silicate, and so of course I don't have any. So building <laughs> with concrete is out of the question. Oh, there's a strider off in the distance. Look at the size of that. Wow. Thing was huge. <laughs> We already had a storm incoming. Gee, suit lady. How many storms can be incoming at the same time? <laughs> this is probably the tornado now. Let's make sure there's no fire behind me. 
<laughs> I don't know if fire directly over your head affects you or not. I don't know how deep the fire goes. This is usually a crazy easy mission, just standing here in a cave, you know, grinding resources. Pretty straightforward. Unless there's a tornado and you're on permadeath and the ground's on fire. <laughs> that might complicate things a little bit. <laughs> Pretty loud out there, though, I can tell you that. Yeah, we've almost got it. There we go. Now, I think we need to deliver this. And on our way, we'll grab this storm crystal, because why not? Off to a trade post to sell this stuff. We'll get some altitude here so it doesn't take so long to get there. Really? Is it extremely hot? <laughs> Increasing, need more altitude. <laughs> there we go. Hot down there, suit lady. not saved in multiplayer. You're confused, game. I'm not in multiplayer. Maybe that's not what it said. <laughs> Hello? Return to the Nexus. No music. No wonderful... Excuse me? Oh. You were talking to each other? Sorry. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Here we go. that. Congratulations, you did a great job. You finished your mission music. <laughs> Hopefully there will now be a new mission. But like I said before, if... Um, if you want to move the community thing along and you don't like the mission, you can do any one of these missions on the Nexus uh, Completo. Thanks for the salvage frigate module. What will I ever do with them all? I have one carbon. <laughs> I also have one dihydrogen. Rate of planetary depot. <laughs> it's the only way to get around the anomaly. 
<laughs> it's all those invisible walls. They're always in the way. <laughs> Oh no, that's going to be rough. I'm not so sure that you have to land anymore uh, for these. Uh, you do have to get the instructions from them for them, but I'm not so sure that you have to land actually at the depot anymore. I just do it because I don't want to have to repeat the mission. Oh boy, there's no tornadoes. There we go. <laughs> I didn't start the fire. You need Pugnium for this mission, by the way, 100. If you don't have it, uh, you can buy it, or you can kill sentinels for it. Are you shooting at me? <laughs> I shouldn't be starting this. <laughs> One shooting at me too. This is an elite sentinel forest suit lady. <laughs> All right, two more quad servos. Let's go get that depot. Shouldn't be too far away. What's that thing? Observatory. There's going to be a walker. I'm just getting out of my ship to get destination reached. But you can shoot these things from your ship. There we go. There's my mission complete music. Awesome. He's shooting at me. No walker? Oh, I feel cheated. <laughs> now, oh, there is definitely a walker. I have a five-star alert. I don't see him, though. Uh, I don't see a walker anywhere. All right. <laughs> Whatever alert you have on the planet, it automatically goes back to a one-star alert when you enter space. That's because this is technically a new battle. False drive disabled. <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> it's awesome. I think we got a lot of really cool stuff out of that, too. We have leftover activated cadmium as well. All right, let's go get paid. as I jump over everything that could possibly have a wall. <laughs> Completo. What did I get? 450 Quicksilver? Wire looms. Now what? Uh, construct an outpost. Um, I don't have very much silicate. Uh, nor do I have pure ferrite. 357. Uh, what's the freighter got on it? Metal plating. Freighter is not in the system. All right. Return to the mission agent. I also got a uh, Sentinel mission completed there. I haven't done one of these since the update. 
Not too many people are pleased with having to change from ferrite to silicate for concrete because most of us had thousands and thousands of ferrite on us. All right, now where do I gotta go? Oh my gosh, can it just please, please be a different planet? <laughs> I'm gonna do everything in this place. <laughs> Maybe I should have moved the anomaly. <laughs> Alrighty. I call my freighter. Drop a base computer. If I can get the right buttons. <laughs> Claymo. It's also a shortcut to this mission. Oh, look at there. That's a minor settlement right there. Uh, the next thing it wants is a biodome. I don't think I have any glass on me. Nope. Um. That was way too much. <laughs> Glass. Oh, that's dioxide, dummy. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> There's frost crystal. <laughs> Thought they'd change the formula for glass. All right. Uh, construct an access route. Uh, two straight corridors. A uh, glass cuboid room. Um, what do I need? Silver. Oh. Uh, there's some Herox. Herox into the refiner. Go. Two of those. And two curved cuboid walls. <laughs> and four regular cube rooms. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> that is pure ferrite. Back to the freighter. Here's magnetized ferrite. My chickens are going crazy. Regular ferrite. All right. This is going to take a minute. Here's a critter. Over there, too. There we go. Some crazy kind of cow. I already scanned the strider. Surrounded by animals now. <laughs> I could uh, go inside the building and do all this building from the build camera. Building right up to my ship right there. <laughs> what a ridiculous building. <laughs> I 
That's the best thing about this mission is the crazy stuff that you build. <laughs> All right, uh, four hydroponic trays. Oh my God, those are expensive. Uh, what do we need? Carbon. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get this out. And we need cart. Does this convert anymore? No. I don't know if it ever did convert. Uh, we can use oxygen, but I'm looking for condensed carbon. There we go. Now we can watch the storm from inside the building. Probably help if the building had some power. <laughs> Is there any windows left here? Yeah. <laughs> what are the other things I need for that? Uh, pure ferrite and metal plate. Oh, well, metal plate I've got plenty of. Pure ferrite, not much. So let's grab this and put some more magnetized ferrite in. If I have any more. Uh, there's a little bit more. It's not much. Don't these things snap somewhere? Uh, yep, just need the pure ferrite now. Oh, it wants me to turn on my torch. Uh, place plants, mordite root, gut rot flower, and solar vine. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's see here. Uh, mordite. I don't know if I have any. There's some facium. Uh, solar vine. That's not enough solar vine. Uh, yeah, don't have any mordite. I do have facium. I think solar vine takes 50. I haven't planted a plant in a long time either. Uh, I didn't get any out and it does take 50. That's 43. This is a very expensive mission, my God. Uh, oh, I do have Mordite, fantastic. That solves one problem. All right, we need a little bit of solar vine now. Where did I put the door? It's kind of terrible outside though. What's that right there? Pluppy roots. Ah, fireberry. Subterranean organic structures. <laughs> I'm on a hot planet that doesn't have solar vine on it. Uh, super hard to see, too. building. So we'll go to this building and we should be able to see some. Pretty easily now. There's some. Woohoo! <laughs> it's not hard to believe that I'm out of a solar vine. But, you know, because <laughs> I did make all of the uh, 
circuit boards that I could before I started getting rid of everything. I'll take that bit too. <laughs> Launch fuel, cool. Don't know when I picked up the launch fuel. <laughs> I don't think I needed to fly that far away, did I? <laughs> Look at this crazy base. <laughs> Glad we didn't have to build the big hydroponic strays. All right. Uh. There we go. Uh, upload the base. <laughs> For what reason? Logged in as a guest. That's bizarre. Base uploaded. Mission complete. We're gonna stuff all that stuff in a base cache. Because it's easier than standing around and deleting all the bits. <laughs> That's probably the last outpost I'm gonna build for a Nexus mission for a long time, man. That was expensive. <laughs> Turn to the Nexus and receive your reward. <laughs> well, the point is the Quicksilver, not the... <laughs> not how long the mission takes. <laughs> Well, I feel good about that, though. I got three missions done in 30 minutes. That's pretty good. And uh, I started out doing a mission, uh, but that uh, but that was just a regular Nexus mission. Alrighty, give me the money. A war Piper Core. Always like free warp fuel. <laughs> Speak to Iteration Helios. Oh, I also have an egg ready. We'll do that tomorrow. God, look at this mess now. I've got to get rid of <laughs> 40, uh, 4,050 Quicksilver. And we are at 96%. Uh, All right, you guys. Well, that was interesting. What is the last mission here? I might do it before I leave. Uh, rescue a stranded life form. I think not. That dude got himself there. He'll have to get himself out of it. <laughs> all right, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And please click the like button. Have a great day.